The Shore, PG, 48. How I came by it? Well, I've been aware of it for several years, though never actually uh, really used it. I noticed that it was a microphone at a place I do uh, some workshops called Ben's Lowy Music Trust. Fantastic place. Check it out online. It's um, mostly sort of classical stuff, but they do some jazz. Being mostly a classical place, they had a kind of a PA and a kind of a microphone, which we used, but I would take mine as well for the more important performances. I noticed their microphone was this. Didn't pay too much attention. Set it up. Thought that will do to put in another room for people to play with, sing and so on and so forth. So actually, I've got to say, didn't really pay too much attention, but I, there was a kind of a hmm, feeling. So I'm already a little bit biased towards it, but let's have a go. £45, I think, in, uh, in the UK. This is uh, PG48. You can't get this anymore. It's now the PGA48. Similar, I think. What the manufacturer has to say. It's a cardioid dynamic vocal mic featuring a highly durable design construction that delivers excellent sound using spoken word and karaoke performance. Comes with a cable, so on and so forth. Tailored cartridge clarity in the standard fre frequency range of speech. Cardioid, so on and so forth. Seems like 70 hertz to 15 kilohertz. So... We'll have a look at the plots that are going to come up. Fit, finish, and feel. Well, pretty much the same size as an SM58, slightly different shape. Pretty much the same weight, SM58, quite dead sounding there. Similar kind of sound, actually. But I think the thing to do is uh, have a look close up. Sure, PG48, Sure, SM58, Biodynamic M300. Feels nicely made to me, workmanlike. It's a switch here. It's uh, unobtrusive, but a little bit difficult to operate. Maybe this one's it's old, maybe it's a bit sticky. This one came in a job lot. It wasn't after this, I was after another mic, but there were some of them not working, sort of a job lot. Um, so there it is. Foam had gone, so I replaced it. Foam on top here is okay, so I guess this one's not that old. Not aware of any suspension, though there must be some. The rubber there feels, so elastic material is quite firm. But generally speaking, whoops, he says, uh, you can't complain. I don't think. Feels very solid. Threads are remarkably good. I'd say, yeah, well, well made and same, pretty much the same way as a 58 was. Okay, let's get to it. What do I notice immediately? I'm going to switch from the 33 to the PG 48. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are on the PG 48. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know. What do I notice? I've got used to it now a little bit. What do, what do I notice? An edge up the. Uh, first thing I noticed was this. There you go. And now I notice a bit of edge at the top. It's almost a bit of a, a, bit of a caricature, a bit of a Mickey Mouse. Uh, what do you need? I mean, we can hear things on a telephone. Oh, excuse me. On a telephone, so I suppose. <clears throat> Let me go back back and forth. The SV33, the uh, SV33, the PG48. No middle, really. Let's get a bit of proximity. The PG48, the PG48, the PG. You mean it works? It works. Okay, the SM58 coming up. This is the SM58. Sounds like it needs to be a little bit louder. SM58. Yeah, between the two. SM58, USA. PG48, PG. So, well, it's my voice, mine. Yeah. Back on the SM58. So, a bit, SM58 is a bit more normal, isn't it? But then we're used to that. SM58 closer. SM58 closer. No real bottom. No real top. A little bit of push there. PG48, PG48, ragged at the top, ragged man, yes, ragged, ragged, not rugged, it's probably rugged as well, uh, out of interest, this is the Bayer Dynamic, mm. I thought I said all this, this is the Bayer Dynamic uh, M300, and compared to all of them, it's, it's much, to me, it's much more sophisticated, it's, it's, it's got the edge up there, but it's quite smooth, not ragged, and uh, yes, if you need it, it's got some low. So this one uh, compared to the f 58. Mm. Oh, you have to be careful. So this is the Bayard Bayer Dynamic M300, their kind of entry level one from a few, couple of decades ago. This is a Shure SM58, which just hasn't got as much of anything. And this is the mic of the moment, the PG48. It's just. PG48. Well, yeah. Anyway, let's do the, let's do the bits and bobs. Pops, S's, breath, and proximity. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 You know, it's not it's not too bad. Don't forget, it's got a t -t -t -t. Mm. it's got um biodynamic foam in there. I think rather than sure because I happen to have it. Don't know if that makes any difference. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So the SM58 is better in that regard. Peter Piper picked a peck. But remember, the SM58 hasn't got as much low. The low's ragged as well. The low's ragged. Uh, but the SM58 hasn't got as much low. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it is something about... Mm. Uh, S's. 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 Gonna have to be careful with S's here. Gonna have to be careful with S's here. S's, 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 58. S's, S's, S's. So you can hear the 58, despite the shape being similar, is not as, as ragged and, and bright as the uh, the 48. S's, S's, it almost makes a 58 sound sophisticated. Wow. Uh, S's, S's. S's, 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 S's. It's a bit louder as well, isn't it? S's, S's. Well, you'd have to be careful there. Breath, who do you think you're fooling? 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 Who, 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 who? 58. Who do you think you're fooling? 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 Here we go. I, I can't help but smile at the audacity. Um, but, you know, if you haven't got a microphone, uh, who do you think, where do you get to? Proximity. So I'm fair, there we are from a distance, there we are from a distance, pretty much eh. There we are, bringing it a bit closer, bringing it a bit closer, bringing it closer, eh, and s. Bringing it a bit closer, bringing it a bit closer, bringing it a bit closer, still no no real middle or warmth to me. Bringing it a bit closer, ah, oh, there, 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 there. Bringing it a bit closer still, bringing it a bit closer still, then you get the accentuation of the 
up there, bring it a bit closer still, bring it a bit closer down, really edgy. It's that top end. It's ragged, man, ragged. Um, bring it a bit closer still, bring it a bit closer still. Now we're getting some weight to balance that up. Maybe the middle's missing a bit, a bit boxy. Bring it a bit closer still, bring it right up. Bring it right up, down, 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 down. Yeah. S in 58, down, 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 not so much. By Aerodynamic M300, down, 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 down. Similar kind of weight to me, and that accentuation to the 48, perhaps, but rather more sophisticated, it sounds to me. Handling and self or induced noise, handling noise is an issue. SM58, as you know, you can see. The M300, which in the re previous review. But I think the, even this, the handling noise is less and noisy, less than the PG48. Yeah, so I, I'd say, um, I'd say unacceptable, really. Um, Self noise, I put it by near the, I've got a new or different mixing desks. I don't. This is test. I don't think so valid at all anymore. I haven't been aware of any noise from it, and that's probably better shielded, so it's not happening there. Polar response said to be cardioid, I believe. Let's see. On axis, on axis, on axis, coming around to the side, coming around to the side, coming around to the side, rejecting, coming around to the side. Significant rejection. Significant rejection. You understand? We're coming round to the back. 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 A little bit high up. That's the uh, maximum rejection, or should be. You can hear the room, I'm afraid. So it nullifies things a bit. Uh, coming round to the side. Coming round to the side. Coming round to the side. Good rejection there. Coming round to the side. So that, that seems to be fine to me as a, a cardioid. How am I invited to sing? Well, I'm going to leave it to the man and see what a man makes of it. But just sitting here, just sitting here, I don't know, just uh, yeah, kind of encourages me to do things in a in a kind of place like that because it seems to be that's where it shines. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't say shines. That's where it pushes its thing. Huh. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you got to go. There's not much point being clear. No, there's nothing to enjoy that I find there. But if, you know, if someone gave me that, I'm doing kind of bluesy, shouty things. You can use almost anything really for that. You don't need the detail, I don't think. You just need the thing not to feed back and to capture most of it. So, um, would I? Would I wanna? It's not very rewarding in, in, in anywhere for me. But maybe if you're doing things there, maybe this thing will be all right with you. Maybe if you wanna get all done, it kind of adds to the business of what you're doing. So maybe you're doing that. Oh, that's woken me up. It works. It's far too noisy, handling. Mm. I don't know what to say. I wonder if it even deserves to exist. When I say whether it deserves to exist, I don't want to criticise anything or anybody, really, because what do I know? The SM58, I think, was 1969. I don't know. I don't think there are any gold parts or diamonds. I imagine the construction of these, this one's USA, but I think they went to Mexico. Maybe it's China now, I don't know. But I can imagine the construction of these would be like... Just, you know, on... Off. How much are the component parts now that since 1969, whenever they started making it, the machinery, I don't think they're hand wound, they might be, you know, so I don't know. But my guess is that the component parts of this are like pence with the efficient machinery. This is nicely made physically. Yeah. So we're talking about the suspension, the isolation, and the diaphragm itself. How much is that, I wonder? I wonder if this has been impoverished 
deliberately made worse. It would be easier, surely, just to use this and put a plastic body on it if you want to have... You see, people need a step, don't they? But this is entry level. Must must be by now. <laughs> Get here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just likes that, just likes that, just likes that place. Yeah, that's the first thing I notice there, but it does that. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna come down to a little bit in the singing place, gotta bring it a bit closer, bring it a bit closer, bring it a bit closer, bring it back there. And then I can hear that it's getting a bit muddy, I can't really hear what's going on, bring it, bring it closer still. I'm gonna get down there for some man stuff, gonna get down there for some man stuff, gonna get down there for gonna get, gonna get, gonna get, gonna get, uh, gonna get, uh, uh, I just can't hear through there, I just can't hear all the time I can, 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 Can you hear? Can you hear that shredding?